I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 6 picks. Okay, so it is currently 5.34 p.m. here in Las Vegas, Monday, October 11th, 2021. The Monday night game between the Indianapolis Colts and the Baltimore Ravens is currently going on. But we're going to put in our Week 6 Bets. I recently moved to Las Vegas from San Francisco, so I had to download the BetMGM app, and this is how I will bet all my future sports. Okay, so my first game I'm going to go with, the Thursday night game, first game of NFL Week 6. I'm going to take the Bucks on a money line, minus 300. The Eagles seem to be putting it together. I really like their offense. I don't think that defense will be able to keep up with the Bucks. Um offense, but for this uh specific parlay, I'm gonna put the Bucks on a money line. On a money line. I do like the Bucks minus seven. I will also have a few bucks, a few uh bets with the Bucks, and I will tease that number down from seven to one, or I will I'll do a, a seven point teaser and make that number even. I'm going to stay away from the Dolphins and the Jaguars. They're both terrible teams. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers minus four and a half on the road versus the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears recently named Fields as the starter. I really like that. I I love that move. I'm really happy for them. I just, I'm really worried that in this offense, they run the ball for more yards than they pass the ball, and the Packers will be putting up a lot of points on this team. The Bears have a good defense, but the Packers, have I think they won like four games straight. They seem to put it together. They did only win their last game by three points versus uh, Cincinnati on the road. So that's a little worrisome. Four and a half points seems good enough for me versus the Bears. These teams know each other a lot better. They play each other a lot better. And um, I think this is a good game for the Packers to win their fifth game in a row. The Chiefs and the Washington football team I'm going to stay away from. I actually do like the Washington football team plus six and a half. The Chiefs have a lot of injuries. The offense only scored 20 points at home. I'm really worried about their offense, and I'm we already know about their defense, but I'm just going to stay away from the Chiefs and Washington. I'm also going to stay away from uh, the Vikings and the Panthers. The Panthers have lost two games in a row, so I'm a little surprised that they're... Um, uh, favorite in this game. Maybe McCarthy comes back in this game. I believe he hasn't played the last few games. If he does come back in this game, I can see why this number is m- minus one and a half, and I would favor the Panthers to win this game. But because of that, that's up in the air. It's only Monday. It's you know That news will probably come out by Friday or Saturday. For this parlay, I'm going to stay away from the Vikings and the Packers and, and the Panthers. Uh, the news just came back that Joe Burrow is home, was released from the hospital. From, he had a throat contusion. I believe he's fine. He should be starting in this game versus the Lions. I'm going to take the Bengals minus three on the road versus the Lions. The Lions have zero wins this season. I do not believe their first win this season will come against the ba- um, the Bengals. I think even if the Bengals do win this game, it'll probably be on a last second field goal. So three points is good enough for me. I'm taking the Bengals minus three on the road versus the Lions. Obviously, you kind of have to take the Rams minus uh, ten and a half. The Giants are... Everybody on the team is injured. Offense, um, they their starting quarterback is injured. Daniel Jones is injured. Um, their starting running back is injured. Saquon Barkley is injured. So with this Rams offense and their defense, right, I don't think 10.5 is enough points. I'm taking the Rams uh, minus 10.5 points. Next game, I'm going to take the 5-0. and Are they 5-0? and 4-0? and I know they're undefeated. I believe they're 5. Yeah, it should be 5-0. and I'm taking the 5-0 and Cardinals plus 2.5 on the road versus the Browns. Um, the Browns did put up 42 points last week versus the Chargers, but the Chargers' um, defense is not built like the Cardinals' defense. I think the Cardinals win this game outright, but for this road game and this specific uh, parlay, I'm going to take plus 2.5 points for an undefeated 5-0 and team on the road versus the Cleveland Browns. To me, this is kind of a trap game. I want to play the Ravens. Ah, man, this is... I'm going to skip the Ravens and the Broncos. Both teams have lost two games 
in a row. The Ravens are dealing with some coaching racist issues there. So, and the Broncos are just dealing with. They've been playing. Their first few games were against really bad teams like the Giants and the Jags. So they won those games. The last few games have played against decent teams. The Ravens beat them. Um, so for this parlay, I'm going to stay away from. I do like the Raiders plus three and a half. I think what I'm probably going to end up doing with the Raiders is I'm going to tease that number six or seven points. And I will be playing the Raiders in teasers. I would, I would like to put them plus three and a half, and it seems like a, a fair bet. I really do like the Raiders, but I think they could lose this game. And if they do lose this game, they probably will lose by seven, you know, six or seven points. So I think the best bet for me with the Raiders this week would be to tease them six or seven points. I'm going to stay away from that game. Cowboys versus the Patriots. Cowboys put up a lot of points. I'm going to take the Cowboys minus four. I got to take the Cowboys minus four. The Patriots had a lot of problems with uh, Mills, um, the Houston quarterback, and they barely won that game. I know they came back in to win that game, but I don't think they could keep up with the Cowboys. Four points on the road. It seems like a bit much. I would like this number down to like three. That would make me feel a lot better. But four points for the Cowboys are basically top three, four team in the in the NFC, it probably would be a better idea to take the Cowboys just on a money line. I do believe they win this game, but for this specific parlay, I'm just going to take the Cowboys on a money line. I like the four. Four, I just convinced myself four is a little bit too much. The Patriots, they're, they're kind of, they, they're up and down. They win, they lose, they win, they lose. You know, at home... Belichick could come out with some good schemes that the Cowboys may not be ready for. Four points seems like a lot. It may be some weather involved in this game. Just for this specific parlay, I'm going to take the Cowboys on a money line. I do like four. I, I would I would prefer three. But for this specific parlay, I'm going to take the Cowboys on a money line. I have to take uh, the Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers on a money line also. They're not really known for um, blowing teams out. They, um, I'm not really too confident about um, Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, he, he doesn't really complete more than 20 passes. And Schuster just injured, injured his arm, so he doesn't have as many weapons on offense for um, the Steelers. Unfortunately, um, Russell Wilson is injured, and it appears he's going to be out four or five weeks or eight to Eight, eight, four to eight weeks, excuse me. So I, I don't see the uh, Seahawks winning too many games in the next few weeks. But I definitely don't see them winning the game versus the Steelers. I can't give up five points for this Steelers offense. But I will take for this specific parlay. I'm going to take the Steelers on a money line. Next bet in the last game of the NFL Week 6, I have to take the Bills minus five. I mean, they, they put up... 35 points, they put up 43 points, they put up 40, and they just put up 38 points last night on the road versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I do worry about, in this game, um, the Titans, Derrick Henry, I believe he had over 100 yards last week, and he had like three touchdowns, I believe. So if the Titans play this, you know, the Titans way, they're going to run the ball and keep the ball away from the Bills. The problem is the Bills, high, high-powered high offense, they had time of possession less than the uh, Kansas City Chiefs last night by like five, six minutes, but they still outscored them by 18 points. They had four turnovers on that defense. So let's not sleep on the Bills' defense. It's not just the offense. This this team is really, really well balanced on offense and defense. It's probably be a good idea just to take them on a money line, but you know what? It's a Monday night game. We want to go big, right? I... I Let's have some fun with the Bills. We're going to take the Bills minus five against the spread on the money Monday night game versus the Tennessee Titans. Okay, so this is an eight-team parlay. We're taking the Bucks on the money line, the Packers minus four and a half, the Bengals minus three, the Tent... Um, 
the Los Angeles Rams minus 10 and a half. The Arizona Cardinals plus two and a half. Cowboys on a money line. Steelers on a money line. And the Bills minus five. Going to risk $2 to win $122.19. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my 2021 NFL Week 6 picks. We're taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the money line versus the Eagles. We're taking the... Green Bay Packers against the spread, minus four and a half versus the Chicago Bears. We're taking the Cincinnati Bengals, minus three versus the Detroit Lions. We're taking the Los Angeles Rams against the spread, minus ten and a half versus the Giants. We're taking the Arizona Cardinals against the spread, plus two point. Two and a half points versus the Browns. We're taking the Dallas Cowboys on a money line versus the Patriots. We're taking the Pittsburgh Steelers on a money line versus the Seattle Seahawks. And we're taking the Buffalo Bills against against the spread. Minus five points for the Monday night game versus the Tennessee Titans. Will I go 8 and 0 or will I go 0 and 8? What are your picks for NFL week 6? Who are your favorite favorites? What's your lock of the week? Who's your favorite home team of the week? Who's your favorite road team of the week? What's your upset slash underdog play of the week? What game are you most excited for, looking forward to for this NFL week six? I would say the game I'm looking forward to the most. I, obviously, I really like the Cardinals versus the Browns. That's going to be a really good one. And then, I, obviously, a lot of people are going to be paying a lot of attention to the Bills versus the Titans. Um, there's a few Monday night games that because of the Monday night games are currently playing. I don't know who the Indianapolis Colts are playing, but the Chargers will be playing the Ravens next week. So that's another game that's going to be really good. The opening lines, I saw the Chargers getting three points. I wanted to put that in the bet, but obviously they took that off the board as soon as the Ravens game versus the Indianapolis Colts tonight. But the Chargers and the Ravens, that's another game I would say look forward to in NFL Week 6. That's going to be a good game. I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 6 picks. The 8-pick parlay. A $2 8-pick parlay. To win one hundred twenty twenty two dollars and nineteen cents.